Well, I was gonna take you out to do morning chores, but this is what our mornings are starting to look like in Kentucky. Getting dark earlier, and it's taking longer to get sunrise. How about you all in your area? We got some cold weather coming here in Kentucky this week. All right, one of Raylan's birthday presents from Grammy Karen was this DIY dollhouse. And when we thought Legos were something else, look at this. How's it going, Mama? Well, my biggest fear just came true. I did the wrong size pegs, so we gotta start over. Every time, it always happens. Look at this. Look how many pieces are in this daggone thing. Like and you literally. Look at the other side. Look at this. You literally have to put the entire thing together. All righty. <laughs> Say thanks, Grammy. Thank you. <laughs> Killing it over here. <laughs> Coming together. Good job, Mama. <laughs> We're out, Mama. <laughs> you did it. Look at this ginormous thing. It was fun. It was fun. It wasn't hard. It was fun watching and not doing. You like it, Ray Ray? Yeah. All right, did you give Mommy a big hug and kiss, say thank you? <laughs> You're welcome. And Mama, did you say thank you to Grandma Karen for buying thank such you, a, a million pieces of <laughs> dollhouse? <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> All right. Now we gotta get this thing up to your ring without breaking it. <laughs> All right, chores are done. Got Jen, did awesome getting the uh, dollhouse complete and ready. Uh, Raylan is now at cheerleading. I am off work for the day and it's raining out we had some other plans of what we was going to do however when you know you get thrown rain you go inside and clean out a greenhouse because y'all see the jungle behind me i had mentioned in a few videos ago um how this needed some attention but greenhouses i mean it's just so hot up in here um and now that we're getting in more of the fall temps i can get in here and start cleaning this thing out so we're cleaning it out because it's about time to plant it our plan in here is we're going to plant a lot of onions up in here but we're also gonna have some kale some lettuces and stuff like that going because we got a pretty good size raised bed here i want to say it's about i'll tell you in a minute <laughs> i gotta refresh myself um but it's a it's a good size bed that we have so i need to get it cleaned out we need to get some stuff going up in here and i thought i'd take you all along with me so let's clean out this greenhouse We're getting there. Got Kiki in here because we're finding some things up in the greenhouse, aren't we, Kiki? I'm glad you're with me. When you don't attend something, let nature take over. Nature takes over. Found a couple rats, which isn't cool. Don't like that. So I'm gonna get my little sound things and try to scare them out of here. But um, I'll probably get some rat traps because I just don't want rats around here. Don't want them. Didn't have to deal with them at the old place. Never had rats. Um, but yeah. They made some tunnels up in there and I'm not cool with that action. Also found some turkey eggs. Would have been nice to know they were in there because we could have had them, could have incubated them, could have had some turkeys, but it's all good. It is all good. At least we're getting it cleaned out now and we will take back over the greenhouse. Um, now I'm getting all of our little pots, all these little guys emptied out um, that had some dirt left in them getting them cleaned up because these things add up in price you know one like this is cheap but when you have whew, probably three thousand like we do that gets costly so you definitely want to make sure you save them if you can um, and not just throw everything away so i'm getting all the dirt out of them getting these put up and trying to clean everything up and then we should be good for this round All right, for the most part, we're cleaned up. Um, I've got to do human control on nature that has gotten in here. Friggin' hornet's nest back there. I was sitting there swiping at them all. Thankfully, I didn't get stung by anything, but that could have got ugly. 
but I've got to take over nature um, and bring it back to real life here. Um, but that's what you get for leaving things alone. The garden bed is good. It is 6, 12, 18 foot long. So it's a pretty good long bed, three foot wide. Um, and we've got all of our stuff over here. We have a bunch of them. You know, things that we've bought, things that we've grown ourselves, all the different stuff. But it's good to save all that because even though it might look like a just big old pile of stuff, that is a very, very useful stuff. And you never want to get rid of any of that. So we got all those lined up here. All of our shelves emptied out, our thermometer back up, and we are good to go when it comes to the greenhouse. Um, now, when I posted how to build this thing, a lot of questions was how will it handle? How will it hold up? Well, let's do a quick review. So this cattle panel greenhouse I built in the winter of 2021. So it was around January-ish, I wanna say. January, February, uh, January, um, that I built this bad boy. So it's been through a very, Harsh winter, but not as harsh as you all up north, uh, harsh for Kentucky. Um, we had a lot of ice last year. We had a lot of snow, a lot more than we normally do. So that was a lot more weight than what we normally get. Um, and then we've had a lot of uh, tornadic kind of weather, some reminiscences also of hurricanes. We had their strong winds. And at, first off, as you can tell, she's still standing. So literally none of the pieces have came off of the cattle panels. Um, one good thing that's about it is cattle panels, they sway with the motion. So um, that puts a lot less tension on it, being able to actually move with the wind. Um, so that was helpful, but everything held tight all through everything. Um, the shelving has done great. I would definitely add more supports underneath of the hardware cloth. So that was good. The only thing that I might've done different was have taken this top one down some more because it's awfully close to our top. So I noticed uh, any of the plants that I, plant stars I had in the back um, got a little burn up uh, because they were too close to the plastic, but not a huge ordeal. I just turned them, waste a little space in that uh, using that aspect. However, anything to keep it off the back was good. My uh, flooring that I used as my shelving top, it's just a laminate flooring, held up great. It's not warping. Um, got to screw down in plenty of places and it looks like the day we put it in there the plastic um, this is six mil plastic i got off amazon um, it is holding strong doing great i'm not seeing any wear and tear over the almost year that it's been in um, so another win there and lastly my big window in the back as you all know that did break um, it's probably just because of its size and the wind that we had it shot out came back in and it broke the glass if i would have had it locked might not have had that issue um, because this does kind of turn into a wind tunnel when you have that open and the door open um, so that was more of my mistake rather than an issue um, i'll probably get some plexiglass which a lot of you all mentioned to put up so i can have that clear because as you can see it's kind of hard to see through the plastic and i liked having that big window in the back um, but if i can't get the plexiglass i'll just add some more of the six mil plastic and cover it up on the frame so we can still open it up lastly temperature control done awesome i um, have this huge door that you all are standing in front of that i built custom for this it's a ginormous door um, and then the ginormous window when they're both open um, it stayed good in here as I, I would almost say like a hot ton of wood if we was rolling up the sides which is still going to happen over here just got to make time for it um, but with these two large windows it definitely opened it up a lot of people suggested i should have it fold down rather than fold out um because heat rises i don't suggest doing that i'm assuming people probably have had success doing that but i guarantee you if you do that at one point you're going to forget to close that when it rains and then you're just going to create a funnel into your greenhouse of all that rain just flowing in um because i do get it that gives it up and it gets the heat out better but I, we all know it we all know one time we're going to forget to close that thing in a rainstorm and you're going to have a funnel of water coming through so i, I still wouldn't change that all of the wood has held up great. Um, as you can tell here, it's um, you know less than a year old wood, so I wouldn't imagine seeing a whole lot of wear and tear, but it looks good. Um, I'm not seeing any kind of uh, deterioration of the wood. It's holding strong, and I have no fear that this thing is gonna last several, several years with the wood that we have on there. So overall, if you was curious on how this holds up in 6B, Southeastern Kentucky, perfectly fine. The, it went through about everything it could besides an actual tornado hitting our property, thank God. Um, and it stood strong. There's not been a single blemish to it besides the window um, and a little bit on the plastic over there that I'm gonna have to re-tack uh, down, but nothing over the top. 
Um, nothing that was like a big rip. It just it tore through where the, the nail was. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen the video of us doing this, I will link it down below and also link doing the shelving. Um, those were the two specific videos I did on building this. Um, the raised bed was very simple. I just used pine boards down here um, and I've attached it actually against the greenhouse wall itself. Some people said shouldn't done that because that's gonna that dirt's gonna rot that wood out over there. You know, that's fine. You can definitely add a layer of wood on the inside so it's not touching your greenhouse wall. I just didn't do that. You know, it, it, that's, I guess, up to you. Um, it definitely will help the longevity of that side of the wood. There's no doubt about that. Um, but I love this place. It is time to start fall planting. The colder weather is coming, but if you build you one of these, you can grow with us all winter. It's a huge thing to do. It's a lot of fun to do because you know why everybody else is waiting for spring. You're coming out and eaten and it is a great feeling to eat all winter long in your own garden below freezing temps so you all if you all haven't done this please do so thank you for cleaning up with me and stay tuned because our order is coming in from Haas tools on getting the seeds that we need to get this thing planted um, we're gonna have a lot of onion coming elephant garlic it's out of stock right now but it'll be up soon and you need to get it because that stuff always goes quick um, we have a lot of stuff to keep doing here in the garden before the season is over. So don't give up, don't quit just yet. We still got planning to do y'all. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to down below. We love you, till the next one.